the most unusual knockouts. Everyone loves a good knockout, and MMA or UFC is no stranger to providing fans with them. The greatest thing about a knockout is it can turn a fight the other way in the blink of an eye. One punch can change history, and the ones on this list have done just that. It's not easy putting together a list of the most unusual knockouts of all time because there have been so many memorable moments featuring fans' favorite fighters. Still, there are some that stand out above the rest and are more significant than others. Whether they come in the opening seconds or the final minute, they're the part of the fight fans most remember. Here are some of the most unusual and vicious knockouts ever. Ang La and Sang versus Alexander Machado. Ang La displayed his impressive power during his one championship title scrap against Machado for the vacant light heavyweight title. He dominated the action early on by setting the pace with his jab. Then he unleashed a vicious head kick. Machado managed to get his arm up in time to block the strike, but that wasn't enough to stop him from getting dropped. And Sang followed up with some ground and pound before the referee stepped in to save Machado 56 seconds into the contest. Chuck Liddell vs. Randy Couture The Iceman took down rival Randy Couture with one decisive blow at UFC 52, which at the time was one of the most anticipated events in MMA history especially because Couture had previously defeated Liddell by knockout. This time, though, it was Liddell's turn for revenge. After a timeout, Couture claimed he was poked in the eye. An aggressive Couture pushed and forced Liddell to fight on the defensive, but moments after connecting on a few punches, Liddell snuck a perfectly placed vicious right jab into Couture's chin, knocking him out and taking the UFC light heavyweight title. Holly Holm vs. Ronda Rousey The match between Holm and rowdy Ronda Rousey was one of the most anticipated of the year, and one of the most surprising. Rousey was the heavy favorite to beat Holm, but the preacher's daughter kept the faith in herself. A boxing specialist, the taller, rangier Holm eliminated Rousey's greatest strength, her judo skill, by keeping Rowdy on her feet and forcing her to fight with her fists. After a few punishing boxing combinations left the normally dominant Rousey bleeding and disoriented, Holm finished her off with a furious left kick to the head that flung her onto the mat. Holm ended up taking the Bantamweight title, leaving Rousey with a bloody, broken face and the first loss of her career. Edison Barboza vs. Terry Edom Barboza is one of the most underrated fighters in MMA, despite the fact that he's one of the best kickboxers to ever step inside a cage. His impressive knockout finish of Edom showcases why hardcore MMA fans hold Barboza in such high regard. Two minutes into their UFC 142 fight, Barboza unleashed one of the cleanest spinning heel kicks ever landed in MMA history. It was laser fast, and Edom didn't even have a chance to react to the strike. It landed clean, sending Edom to the canvas. The fight earned Barboza knockout of the night, fight of the night, and knockout of the year honors. Yeah, the kick was that good. Mirko Krokop vs. Gabriel Gonzaga Gonzaga's head kick finish of Krokop might not be the most technically sound kick ever thrown, but it did blow everyone's mind away, given who threw the kick and who it landed on. A decorated Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, many expected Gonzaga to employ a grappling-heavy game plan. Instead, the Brazilian decided to beat Krokop at his own game sending him to the canvas with a ferocious head kick. Ironically, Krokop was the one who was known for head kicks, and many were expecting him to finish Gonzaga with the technique. Eve Edwards vs. Josh Thompson Both men had their moments during their UFC 49 encounter, but it was Edwards who ended up scoring what's arguably the most impressive head kick finish in MMA history. Edwards worked his way to standing back control late in the first round and used it to throw Thompson to the ground. He maintained control as Thompson worked his way back to his feet and unleashed a head kick from behind. It was a beautiful technique that hadn't been seen before in MMA until that point. James Irvin vs. Terry Martin This is one of the most controversial knockouts in the UFC and has sparked many debates about what kind of role knees should have in the sport. If you were around on Vine about six years ago, then you'll be very familiar with this KO. It was unavoidable for a few months on the app. The first round of this fight had us all believing that it was going to go to the judges, 
Both fighters had solid attacks but equally solid defenses. However, just after the start of the second round, Irvin smacked Martin perfectly in the forehead with his knee. He didn't need to do anything else. His opponent fell straight to the floor and the match was over. David Abbott vs. John Matua Let's take it back to the early days of UFC in 1997. This fight only lasted for 18 seconds, and honestly, we're impressed that John Matua lasted that long. As soon as the ref started the match, Abbott was on Matua and was landing punch after punch straight onto his head. After 10 seconds, Matua fell for the first time. Then Abbott had him on the floor again and the match was over. This was the match that made David Abbott one of the biggest stars of the early UFC days. However, because of how Abbott mocked Matua in his celebrations, he was the first heel of the UFC. Uriah Hall vs. Adam Sella Uriah Hall was one of the fighters that broke out and earned a reputation following his stint on Tough. In Season 17, Hall matched up with Team Jones middleweight Adam Sella in the elimination round. Sella did well by taking a more aggressive approach at the start of the round, but wasn't able to land a powerful strike and get Hall to second-guess himself. Despite holding his own against a superior striker, Sella was outmatched. At 4.55 of the first round, Hall ended the fight in spectacular fashion. He landed a perfect spinning back fist that dropped Sella and immediately knocked him out. The aftermath was terrifying as all the fighters and even Hall himself were in shock and disbelief. Masvidal vs. Ben Askren Masvidal was in for a tough test against former Bellator and one welterweight champion, Ben Askren. The former Olympic wrestler had an unbeaten record and was on the verge of earning a title shot. It was no secret what Funky's game plan would be against Masvidal. He was going to use his wrestling to take the fight to the ground. But Masvidal had other plans and wasted no time in finishing Askren. He charged at his opponent, and as Funky ducked his head for a takedown, Gamebred connected with the flying knee. Askren was immediately knocked out, and Masvidal followed up with ground strikes. The fight lasted only five seconds and set the record for the fastest knockout in the promotion's history. Phil Baroni vs. Dave Manet Baroni, the so-called New York Bad A, took care of business in a quick fashion against Dave Manet in their middleweight fight at UFC 39. Just 18 seconds into the match, Baroni aggressively closed in on Manet, punching him in the head to force him up on the cage. But he wasn't done. Baroni landed five more shots on Manet's head within seconds before being declared the winner. And as memorable as his win was, the celebration maybe was even better. Anderson Silva vs. Rich Franklin It'd be the first of two very memorable knockouts for pound-for-pound -pound king Anderson Silva against one of the greatest middleweight champions in Rich Franklin. The first was for the middleweight championship that Franklin had defended numerous times. Silva was coming off a first-round knockout victory over Chris Levin. Oh, Silva should have jumped in and finished it. He may do it right here. Levin is rocked. He was stunned. He, he was like rocked back out. I thought it was over. Oh, he is in big trouble. Chris Levin goes down again. After a brief feeling out process, Silva got Franklin against the cage and into his Muay Thai clinch, where he began to deliver knee after knee to Franklin, breaking his nose in the process. That's it for today's video, guys. Hope you loved watching these vicious and unusual knockouts in MMA and UFC where fighters made a mess of their opponents. If you want more, make sure you subscribe to our channel and also press that notification bell. We'll see you in the next one.